Hey guys, I'm here from AndroidRoots.com right there and today we're taking a look at GoldenEye RAM for your Samsung Galaxy S4 GT i9 505 AT&T T-Mobile and of course your Canadian variant guys. Um, and if you guys have been watching my YouTube channel for about a couple months, maybe the last three months, you have seen my GoldenEye RAM review for the Samsung Galaxy S4 that was only available for AT&T. Well, now it's available for just about every type of Galaxy S4 except the Octa-Core Verizon and Sprint, um, so you guys are left out, but everything else, every other uh, variant or carrier is going to work fine with it. And of course, if you guys are actually interested in installing and downloading this RAM, uh, link is down below in the video description. But let's go ahead and get started with this RAM review. And this is GoldenEye RAM, <laughs> if I forgot to mention that, I don't remember. <laughs> um, and it's a very sleek and clean RAM. It is based off of TouchWiz, as you can see by the wallpaper and just by the Quick layout. Um, bloatware is all removed as well. Quick, speedy. Um, I have not seen any lag with this as you may get with the bloated up ROM and just stock ROM as well. So a lot of the lag has been removed. Um, as you can see, all, of the, all the widgets are cleaned up as well, um, but you, just, you still do get widgets if you want to go and add them. So let's go ahead and take a look at App2SD. Um, that's probably one of the main attractions to this ROM is that's very cool. Um, so under settings and more tab, go and tap on application manager. And here is where you can go ahead and move any application that you installed via the Play Store to your SD card. Um, so you have a big app, um, maybe a big game that's taking up a lot of room and you can't fit it onto your internal SD card. You can actually go and move those apps all to your external SD card to save you a lot of room. And you know, you can go and go buy a 64 gig memory card and uh, you know, save a lot of room on your internal SD card. Um, so here, just go onto any app that you installed. Uh, in my case, I'm in, I'm gonna be using Showtime. You can use Angry Birds. Any application you installed from the Play Store, and it's going to tap on this Move to SD Card. And currently, it's moving it. Of course, you have a bigger app; it will take more time. So be sure to be patient, um, as you don't want to mess this whole process up. You may lose all the information. Just be patient. Don't go too crazy or <laughs> anything like that. Um, so we're just going to give it a few seconds. And as you can see now, it says it changed to move to device storage. So previ previously it said uh, move to SD card, which it did move. Now it says if you want to move it back to the device storage. So now as you can see, the total application SD card app is 8.16 8 megabytes. And data, SD card, all the other great stuff is all there too. So I just moved my application to my SD card, which is pretty darn cool. Um, so it's a really cool app. Um, not a lot, of, not a lot of ROMs come with them. I don't know why. Um, recently there have been more ROMs coming, but not all ROMs support this. Um, for whatever reason, you also get uh, some other cool stuff. So let's go and take a look at that. You also get uh, extended reboot menu. So let's go and look at that. Um, so you have power, data, network, flight, and restart. Uh, if we go and tap on restart, we should get yes, reboot, hot recovery, download, and recovery mode. Um, a lot easier to access those. Um, you also have kill to open any app, so let's go and tap on that. So if you have internet browser, just hold on the menu button right here, and it'll actually kill the app. So just hold it down, and it killed the app, so it's easy as one, two, three. If you have the camera open, go ahead and hold down the menu button, and boom, it kills the app instantly. If you hate uh, you know, holding on the home button and then swiping it away, it's a lot easier and much more convenient to do. Um, you also get the Samsung keyboard, which is actually the Note keyboard. Um, so if we go into messaging, as you can see, you have the little numbers on top with the lettering, so it's a lot easier to put in numbers and letters at the exact same time. Um, so that's a nice, convenient way. Um, also, one other thing that I know a lot of you guys always tell me, hey, where's my LTE? Um, let me go and show you guys that um, it's nothing wrong. Um, so if we go and turn off Wi-Fi, I'll actually show you that. Um, so if you go and take a look at that, currently I'm getting 3G. All right, there we go. So I'm getting H+. And what H+, means you're getting uh, 4G. Uh, and, and if it says 4G, that means you're getting 4G LTE. So if it says 4G on there, that means you're getting 4G LTE. H plus means 3G plus or 4G, fake 4G. <laughs> so that's the difference, guys. So it's as long as it says 4G, you're getting 4G LTE, um, just to keep it simple. And that is what I really want to show you guys. Not a lot of features. There are some nice little small features like App2SD that can be really convenient. Um, you also get call recording to camera works, keyboard from the notes and all that other great stuff too, um, which is a great bonus, guys. So if this is an excellent starter ROM as well as it can really help out people who are just getting into the Android ROM world who want a simple TouchWiz ROM with all the bloatware gone and still experience a little bit of customization that you can get with this ROM. 
Um, and that's it, guys. This is GoldenEye ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S4 GT i9 505 AT&T, T-Mobile, and, of course, your Canadian variant, guys. If you guys enjoy this ROM review, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left-hand corner right there, only two clicks away to really make my day. And you guys can be notified when I upload another video, you know, in your subscription box or feed, whatever, whatever you really want to call it. And of course, if you guys are actually interested in downloading and installing this ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S4, link is down below where you can actually go ahead and download it. Um, one link down below that will bring you to my website. We can go and flash it. Very easy to do, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later. Peace. And also, don't forget to follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All links are down below. Thanks, guys. Peace.